Greetings, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to day four of albums that are 50 years old in 2023. As we look back on our favorites from 1973, all those great albums from 1973 that are turning 50 years old this year, that are celebrating their 50th birthdays or their 50th anniversary of their release, whatever you want to call it, however you want to look at it, it was a great year in music. 1973. Lots of good ones. So, of course, we've got 31 days in the month of January. We're all picking out our favorite 31, which is tough because I think my overall list has well over 100. And, you know, there's some great, great albums that I love a lot that, man, just aren't going to make the cut of 31. We'll save those for the end <clears throat> for the honorable mentions because you can't name them all. I can't squeeze 100 plus albums into 31 slots. It just doesn't work that way. So, uh, we are. Doing our best to pick out our 31 favorites. All right, so this particular album here today is most definitely one of my 31 favorites. Uh, it was released July 15th, 1973, recorded at Criteria Studios in Miami, Florida for the Capitol Records label, produced by Todd Rundgren himself. It is the seventh studio album from this American band. And they are an American band. Grand Funk Railroad were an American band. That's right, the gold cover. We're seeing the glare there. <clears throat> killer, killer stuff. This is the first, I guess, official album with full-time fourth member Craig Frost. He appeared uh, playing some keyboards on the previous album, Phoenix, although at the time more of kind of like, you know, special appearance on keyboards uh, by Craig Frost. Now he is a full-time member of the band playing, of course, you know, organ and electric piano, <clears throat> piano, clavinet, Moog synthesizer, right? You got Mark Farner on vocals and guitars and a little bit of keyboards because Mark's not a bad keyboard player himself. You got uh, Mel Scatcher on bass and Don Brewer on drums, percussion, and lead vocals. So by this point in the band, you've got Don and Mark pretty much sharing lead vocals on most of these albums, whereas earlier in their career, you Mark Farner was considered the main vocalist, and Don occasionally would sing a song or two. Now it's kind of like mixed up between the two. But you got uh, you know Todd Rundgren doing a wonderful job in the producer's chair for this album. So one of the things that... I think separates this album and this point in their career going forward because uh, again this 1973 band had been fairly active since the late 60s you know the earlier albums much more kind of heavy rock garage rock little raw you know production values a little bit different screechy heavy guitars uh, you know just lots of chaos and you know still the core of the grand funk sound which is uh, you know tons of groove and a little bit of soul but uh, the music was much raw, much heavier, much more frantic and in your face. And now you've got a little more polish on their sound, embracing their R&B soul and pop sensibilities and funk sensibilities a little bit, and maybe toning down the heaviness factor. But it's still just great rock music and hard rock music, right? Just much more accessible. And with Rundgren's production, uh, you know, it's just... Uh, it's the icing on the cake, right? So here, this is a huge album for them, this uh, album actually uh on the charts u.s billboard made it to number two okay uh australia number 27 canada top four album you know both germany and norway made the top 50 didn't seem to chart in the uk you had uh some singles here we're an american band the title track made it to number one number four in canada walk like a man also made top 20 here in the states top 20 in canada right and uh, this was a big seller for the band. Okay, I believe this was their highest charting album. Highest charting album. So we've got uh, some great songs on here. Of course, it starts off with uh, We're an American Band. Love that opening drum barrage and that cool riff, right? You got uh, Stop Looking Back, Good Hard Rocker, Creepin', more of like a moody kind of uh, rock track. Black Licorice, Fast and Frantic, Great chorus, great vocal from Mark Farner on that. You got uh, The Railroad, more of a bluesy kind of, still kind of sort of heavy, but more bluesy and moody. Love Black, uh, The Railroad, great guitars on that. Uh, Ain't Got Nobody, no, another up-tempo rocker. You got Walk Like a Man, all right? That's a very, very memorable rock song. And then uh, Loneliest Rider, 
which again goes back to kind of more moody, bluesy, hard rock stuff. So, uh, you know, not a lot of tracks on here, only eight songs. It's not the longest album in the world, but um, very kind of to the point, very strong top to bottom. There's really not a weak track on it. And uh, it's a great sounding album too. Great sounding album too. So uh, let me see if I got any any pictures of the band. I always like to kind of show off a little shot of the band. I'm not quite sure what's in this remaster. Oh, there we go. Okay. Here you have them. Posing and in concert. Mark always liked to take the shirt off, right? And he always wore that thing around the uh, around the bicep. Right? Always. Mark Farner just like looked the part of the rock star. To me, he's like, uh, you know, when you when you think back onto like the, the late 60s and the early 70s and you think of like the prototypical rock star, uh, Mark Farner is certainly one of them, right? The, the, the singer, guitar player, right? Oh, never had the shirt on, the long blonde hair, right? Kind of had that uh, Native American kind of look mixed with like a blonde guy from the Midwest type of thing. Uh, just that... Uh, Cool band. I, I love this band a lot. Um, I just they're, they're just so much fun. There's so much variety to their music and so many really, really strong albums. But uh, we're an American band. Definitely a top 31 from 1973 for me. So that is my pick number four, Grand Funk Railroad. We're an American band. Woo! Yeah, too early for me to sing. Sorry, guys. Um, but uh, just get into the spirit of things, right? Get into the spirit of this. So uh, let us know what you think of We're an American Band in the comments below, as well as your pick for day four here as we count down to the 31st of January, our top 31 from 1973. They're all celebrating their birthdays this year, right? Their 50th anniversaries. So... Uh, Post yours in the comments below, and we'll see you tomorrow for another one for day five. Visit us on the web at www.seeatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on YouTube all together all the damn time. Stay tuned, we got some new uh, album reviews coming at you today. So, today is Wednesday, of course, so uh, be sure to be looking for them on the channel. And hopefully, you're subscribed and you've clicked on that notification bell because if you do, and if you have, You'll get alert of all of these videos as they post, and please uh, do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below, we've got the link to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations, as well as our merch page, where you can get yourself a very cool Sea of Tranquility t-shirt or hat, cap, hoodie. We've got pullover hoodies, zip-up hoodies. we got coffee mugs, all sorts of fun stuff. So hopefully you got a little bit of Christmas money left over the, from gifts and things, and you may want to get yourself uh, some Sea of Tranquility attire or what have you. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Pete Pardo. See you tomorrow for another album that is 50 years old in 2023. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.